This is a podcast from the Business Times. Good evening. It's Monday, August 5th, 2024. Here's your market focus daily closing bell update. For the Business Times, I'm Emily Liu. We're starting the week in correction territory. Worries over tech earnings and a slowing U.S. economy has sent Wall Street falling and taking the rest of the world down with it. The Nasdaq has dropped 10% from its record close on July 10th. In Asia, Japanese stocks led the route. The Nikkei 225 plunged 12.4%, its biggest single day drop since the 1987 Black Monday sell off. Banking stocks led the decline, down 17% today. Meanwhile, the Japanese yen continues to climb, now at 142.96 per US dollar, rising 14% in less than a month. The yen is now at its strongest level since January, after Japan hiked interest rates last week. Taiwan stocks also saw a record slump, down 9.4% today, its worst decline since 1967. Shares in Taiwan semiconductor manufacturing fell 9.7% to close at 815 Taiwan dollars. Singapore's STI is also down 4.2%. The Malaysian ringgit rose 2.3% today, the biggest gain in nine years as investors bet on growing foreign investments and capital into the country. After three years of losses, the ringgit is now leading gains in emerging markets this quarter. Analysts say the currency has long been undervalued, and this may be the start of a reversal. That's it for today. For more business news and market updates, visit bt.sg. This is a podcast by the Business Times. Find more BT podcasts at businesstimes.com.sg slash podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts. This podcast is meant to provide general information only. SPH Media accepts no liability for loss arising from any reliance on the podcast or use of third parties' products and services. Please consult professional advisors for independent advice.